Today we're in Kaloshta de Ela, which is my place of work. It's an adult education centre in Thurlis, in the county of Tipperary, in the heartland of Ireland. I work in the adult education area and I've done so for over 20 years uh, as a teacher and as a coordinator. So I schedule classes for adults who are returning to work to help improve their qualifications and uh, transition them back into the workplace. I had been to two GPs um, complaining of kind of headaches and um, maybe a little deafness in my ear and um, they missed it. Unfortunately, they thought it was a buildup of wax. But my mother encouraged me to see an ENT, and that ENT diagnosed an acoustic neuroma, which really came as a huge shock. And I then underwent open surgery, 14 hours, to treat that tumour. Um, unfortunately, I required follow-up operations over the next number of months, and uh, it was a very difficult time. Things didn't really go according to plan. But Literally about a year later, I was back on the, the, the right course and I was well again. But some 15 years later, I was re-diagnosed with a tumour. But this time I had a different option available to me and I underwent a cyber knife treatment the second time. And that was a, a far easier experience. It was only one hour um, lying on a bed and uh, that cyber knife treatment uh, treated the tumour at that time. Now unfortunately again since then the tumour has been found to recur again. So at some point in the future I will require a further cyber knife treatment and I've been monitored by my neurosurgeon Mr Daniel Ravlock and uh, he'll make the decision as to when that happens. And I took a little bit of time off work after the treatment, I took about two weeks. And I, I'm sure I must have been kind of, we'll say mentally exhausted or relieved that the whole thing had gone so well. So I'm not going to say it didn't impact on me, of course it must have. But I could have gone back to work the next day, you know, really I felt great. Because it, this, the treatment was in November and December, which are quite wet months, sometimes I would take a bit of a break during the, the Christmas. So, so I went back running in the new year. Um, I went back running in the new year and I was involved with, um, with I, I kept up my coaching. Uh, I was coaching kids in athletics and in, in, um, in, in hurling. I, I stayed involved with the, I don't think I missed any training sessions. I might have missed one or two, but no, I stayed involved with things. Every day has been brilliant since, including all the time through the cyber knife treatment. So I'm very, very fortunate to have a, the support of my parents and my two sisters and my brother and the support of my wife and the kids. So my wife has been my rock. <laughs> my initial experience definitely made me a lot more active in that previously I might have th said, I'd like to do this, or I'd like to do that. I stopped that and I started doing this and doing that. So um, I've been to Romania. I, I worked in Romania for four years with street kids, whereas for years before that I said, I must go and maybe do something like this. Um, I've driven articulated lorries all across Europe and back. I always wanted to drive a truck, but decided I was going to do it. Um, I wanted to get involved in coaching, so rather than wanting to, I started to do that. Um, only this year I've taken up cycling, and it's something I want to do. Um, I wanted to get back running. I was good to talk about it. Then I just went out and started running. I've run marathons and I've, I've, I've run all over the country. So, um, so definitely I was given a new insight into life following my, my experience.